in Green Bay, Wisconsin. I am joined this afternoon with our wonderful parents and our students here at Preble High School who would like to address an email link that went out yesterday that negatively impacts our school and our community. They have asked for this opportunity to share and speak about their school and our community. With me this afternoon is Nathan Grubarczyk, a senior at Preble, as well as our Intracity Student Council President. Also here is Jessica Franco, a junior and a representative of the Intracity Student Council. In addition, Priyanka Navani, a sophomore and a student council member at Preble High School, who joined Preble High School last year, coming to us from Fox Valley Lutheran. Nathan. Thank you. Uh, thank you to Natasha, our uh, wonderful pr uh, principal. Uh, as she mentioned, my name is Nathan Gabarczyk, and I am the president of our Interest City Student Council. Uh, we represent the four uh, wonderful high schools in our uh, the Green Bay Area Public School District. The I Interest City Student Council, ICSE, is made up of student representatives elected by our body, and we sit with the board and uh, discuss important issues and have the student voices heard. We are speaking on behalf of the student body because we feel the comments made by Senator Ellis are completely uh, misinformed and they do not represent the amazing students that uh, participate in our athletics, that participate in our student government, and participate in uh, the pride that is Preble High School. During uh, the past few years, we have uh, faced severe budget uh, cuts and deficits. And even still, we have uh, worked to provide many programs for our students so that uh, they may continue to achieve uh, above and beyond uh, other districts and other schools in the area. We have many uh, positives in our schools. We are one of the best schools in ACT test scores. We uh, score above the national average. Uh, we have AP tests and AP test scores that are better than all other areas or all, all other schools in the area and we have schools like the John Dewey Charter Academy. These are just a few of the amazing aspects of the Green Bay Area Public School District. all the students who have come today to support our school uh, and thank you to everyone who's taken time out of their after school activities to help show your support. You uh, prove up. Hi everyone, my name is Jessica Franco. As Ms. Rowell said, I am a junior at Preble High School and I am also an Intracity Student Council representative as well as a proud member of Preble High School. Um, it is <laughs> it is great to see all the student support, not only the student support but also the staff. It shows that we are a united school and when someone targets us we unite and fight against the people who are targeting, targeting us. Thank you for everyone who is here, the basketball team, thank you for taking time out of your practice. Um, I just want to, throughout the whole day, I have had the opportunity to get some student feedback and ask them why they love Preble and why they like coming here every single day. Some of the feedback I got was that the staff and administrators, despite our big population, students feel the relationship with staff and administrators to be a comfortable one. There are so many students in the school, yet the students feel comfortable to go up to staff and administrators. Another reason why students like to be part of Preble High School is the vast array of classes offered here. We have students traveling from Southwest East, all to come to classes that are offered only here at Preble High School, and I think that's a great thing for not only the district, but Preble also. 
Um, people here love the diversity of people and groups available at Preble. Being that we do have a big population, there is a friend for everyone here. There's different ethnicities, cultures, races, so people like coming here. They know they can find someone that can, they can relate to because of our vast diversity. also feel very proud about, proud about our, is our business department. Um, we have, Preble actually started the Hive a few years ago through the business department and now all of the high schools in the Green Bay District have um, a Hive or a caring closet, for example, for East, Cat's closet for West, and Detroit's closet for Southwest. Um, that was started here at Preble through the business department. Also, Sting Cancer, which is a great um, which is a great club for helping students and staff and people in need that are affected by cancer was started here at Preble High School and I think that is something we should all be really really proud about. Yeah. Not only are we proud about our extracurricular activities and the people at Preble, we are also proud of our the high quality of education offered here. Preble has scored high on the ACT scores in the Green Bay area. That is something we are very proud about. Also, we have performed well on the WKCE tests. Preble is the only school in the Green Bay School District that offers math lab one, first through eighth hours and after school. Um, thankfully, we have enough staff and math teachers to provide um, assistance in math, and I know I regularly use this opportunity in math lab to enhance my skills, so that is also something we are very proud about, not only our extracurricular activities, but the level of high education that we are offered here at Preble. And we are just, I know I speak for students when I say that we have been misrepresented and we are just furious at how poverty is being seen as a crime when people don't choose to be in poverty. Some people can't help. And just again to close off, I am so happy and glad to see everybody here. It just shows what great of a school Preble is and what great of a district the Green Bay School District is. Thank you. Hello, everybody. My name is Priyanka Navani. I am a sophomore here at Preble, and I would just again like to thank everybody for being here today. It's so great to show this Senator, how united we are and just how proud of a school we are today. Um, I would personally like to talk about the voucher program that the Senator Ellis was talking about last night. Um, I came from a private school last year. I came here second semester and when I came here I was so happy, so just genuinely thrilled to be here because when you talk to the teachers and when you see the students it's just it's a great feeling to be in the hallways at Preble High School. The teachers here, you can, maybe you're in a bad mood one day, they'll, they'll automatically know. They just, they really, they care about you here. And that's something that's not even found in a school with 2,000 kids, let alone 2,300. And then walking down the hallways, I mean, you get a culture lesson just by walking to your next class. And that, again, is definitely not something you get in a regular school. And it's amazing, I feel. Um, yes, the diversity and, I mean, the differences here, I mean, we all have our differences, and everybody is so respectful of them. And I think that is another great thing about here. And um, that's basically all I have to say. I would just like to, again, share how proud I am to be at Preble and that we, I, and all the students and staff are blatantly, I mean, this was a blatant disrespectful comment that was made towards us, and we are not some poverty, 
possum, as he called us. We are one united front, and we are all proud to be Hornets today. So Nathan Grabarczyk and Jessica Franco and Priyanka Navani for speaking um, on behalf of our students here at Preble. This afternoon, as I mentioned, I also have some parents with us who would like this opportunity to speak in support of Preble High School. And I'd like to ask Ms. Patrick Grabarczyk to come on up at this time. All right, many of you know me more as Mrs. Gabarczyk rather than as Patty Gabarczyk. I am the proud mom of three Preble students. I have one that will be here next year as a freshman. I have Nathan, who I'm very proud of, who is a senior here, and my son Nick, who graduated two years ago. I know when I first was made aware of the statements made by Senator Ellis and Senator Voss, I stepped out of my teacher role that most of you know me at, and as a parent, I was completely offended and appalled to hear how they were describing my sons. As I look out in this room, I see many of you who have sat in my classroom as well. Now, whether or not we're genetically connected, I still feel like you are my children also. I am as deeply offended by the description of every single person in this room. I'm so proud to be a staff member at Preble High School. I'm so proud to teach with the people that I see standing amongst our students. And I'm so proud of the students that make up Preble High School. And I am wanting our representatives to come into Preble High School and to see the students that make up this building. It's easy to take a look at the number that makes up this building and go 2,300. But that's a number. I want them to stand here and to look out at the faces. Because 2,300 is 2,300 sons, daughters, brothers, sisters of people within our community. And again, three of them happen to be my children. I am so proud of the education they've received at Preble High School. I am so honored to work with the children that the parents entrust coming to our school every single day. And my children have so, been so enriched by the education they've received in this building. They are walking out into a world that they're prepared to embrace diversity, not run from it. And that's what we at Preble do. We embrace each other's uniquenesses. We see the good in every single person that walks through the door of Preble High School. We don't run away from people who look different than we are, from socioeconomic to different races, to different clothes styles, from different beliefs. And I'm so proud of every single person in this room today, and I'm so honored to be a parent of Preble High School students. My name is Tiffany Jennings, and I'm the proud mom of four upcoming Preble students. Um, I was just reflecting after what I heard this morning on the joy that I had sitting down with my eighth grade daughter, prepping for her classes to come in as a freshman, and it was just exciting to me, and it just, you know, kind of brings back as a mom and you know, going back to the high school days of the excitement of coming to school, not only is it kind of scary, but to just to know that she's going to be part of something really good here. Um, so I, I, I really, it hurt me to sit, you know, to sit here and, and to hear the words that aren't true, that were very degrading. And for the children to go through the Green Bay Public School System, one thing that they're taught from day one is to be respectful of others, not to bully, to treat everybody with fairness and kindness. And unfortunately, what really hurt was to see that there are our politicians out there who are doing the exact opposite. And yet we go home as parents and that, you know, try and teach them just the golden rule. And I'm so proud of all of you students and parents out there who are teaching your kids to do the right thing. 
you know, that's that's what it's all about. You know, we, I, I think that all of the words that were said against Preble, you know, we just gotta let's let it go. Don't 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 dismiss it by any means. But we're bigger than that. And if anything positive can come out of it, is the fact that they're gonna shine the spotlight on one of the best schools ever. So let's go. Hello, my name is Joe Gint, um, and I have a son uh, is, who's a senior here at Preble, and I've had two other children who have graduated from Preble, and I've had children for, uh, my wife and I have had children for 12 years, from the span of 2000 all the way till now, that have uh, been students here. And uh, we hold in high regard uh, the school board, the administration over all of that time, over those 12 years, and, uh, and the, uh, the teachers as well that my kids have had. They've had a great education. I think it's been a very positive environment. Uh, they've made good friends. Uh, the kids and the students and the teachers that my wife and I have encountered over the years have been uh, excellent uh, in terms of how they've treated uh, other kids that we've seen and my kids as well. So we're very proud of the environment and uh, the school that Preble has been for my kids over the years. It is unfortunate uh, the comments that were made uh, by Senator Ellis and uh, obviously, as I think we would all attest to, that uh, he's never been here, has never experienced or talked to uh, the administration, to the kids, to see you all here. And I think that would be a challenge for him to be able to take back those words after being able to meet all of you and see the, uh, the fine student body we have and the uh, teaching staff and the administration as well. and I are proud of the opportunity that uh, we've had to have our kids uh, go to school here and uh, I'm pleased to have the opportunity to at least uh, say a few words today uh, to represent that uh, Preble is an excellent school and the kids that go here uh, are, have always been very respectful and hold themselves uh, very well and uh, we're proud of uh, the environment that you've created. Thank you. to thank Mr. Uh, Gint, Ms. Jennings, and Ms. Kovarczyk for speaking on behalf of our parent population. And at this time, if there are any other parents uh, in the audience this afternoon that feel that they would like to um, say anything, please do feel free to come on up at this time. everyone, I'm Cindy Babe and I'm the president of the Preble Parent Network here. And this is my 10th year straight having children at Preble, my, I now have a freshman. I have a daughter that graduated um, about nine years ago. I've had a disabled son here for six years and I cannot thank this school, the administration, the teachers enough for everything that they have done for my son. You'd think a huge school like this would not make every child feel special and feel a part of the community, but they do that every single time. No matter what your disability is, no matter what your socioeconomical situation is, this is a great school. They help everybody. They take you from where you're at and bring you where you need to be, and I'm proud of them. Thank you. My name is Tom Joint. Uh, most of all, I'm a former parent of four outstanding young men who are, by the way, in public education at this time. They graduated yeah. from yeah. I 
I also served as superintendent of Green Bay Public Schools for 10 years in the 1990s. Many of us who are here, faculty and parents, uh, blood, sweat, and tears to put up this wonderful building. And uh, it's hard for me to imagine that it would be called a sewer. Uh, but beyond the uh, building is what we see here. And uh, I haven't been around Preble uh, on a daily basis uh, for years, but I have worked with administration in the classes I teach at the University of Wisconsin-Milwaukee in administrative leadership. And I know what a wonderful school this is. And I think, uh, I agree with the advice that's been given here, I think Senator Ellis and those who were with him, uh, because I think presence in some respects uh, represents uh, condolence, to what, or not condolence, but agreement with what was said. That if they came here and saw the wonderful initiatives, the excellent staff, but probably most important, the diverse and really, uh, I think, uh, symbolic students that identify all that's right about public education. And so I commend the students, the parents, the staff, and I hope again, as uh, was mentioned before, that the light now shines on Preble as a model to follow instead of a model that apparently our senator had some concerns about. This is a wonderful school and you should be very, very proud of it. Are there any other parents out there at this time? Hi, my name is Mrs. Baldwin. I am a Preble parent, a Preble teacher. I am the yearbook advisor, and today was Clubs and Organizations Picture Day. I saw roughly 1,200 Preble students today. We were on time. Behavior was perfect. I saw kids of every race, every socioeconomic status, every diversity possible. And I can tell you that I'm incredibly moved by what I see here today. And I applaud you all and the teachers here. The courage that it took our students today to speak in front of this group of individuals was incredible. And I thank you all. And I can tell you that as a very, very proud Preble parent, I thank God every day that my children don't go to school in high school in Los Angeles County where I went because this is much better. This is awesome. And I commend you all for doing a fantastic job every single day. sending six kids, already sent one, one here, and we'll be sending four more proudly through the halls of this school, not cesspool, school, and we are proud of that. I give you a fair hug. Those of you who know me may know that I'm a bit competitive. Those of you who know me may know I have a competitive streak, and I'm fine. Make it competitive. Make it fair. Make it fair. If you want to make and compare our public school to anybody else, bring it on, step up, toe to toe. I'd be proud to show my AP scores with anybody in the state and the nation. Step up. Senator Ellis, stop sitting in the barn and make some rules and make it fair, where public schools will be proud to compare our records with private schools. I don't want to knock private schools. I will not sit here and do that. That is somebody's choice and their family's choice, and that's wonderful. If you want to compare the two, compare apples to apples. Take all the tests we take, follow all the rules we take. Senator Ellis, make the playing field fair, and I'll be happy to show up for the game.
Uh, my name is Robert Borschinger, and first of all, I want to say that Preble High never was a sewer and never is a sewer. And I am an alumni of at least 50 years ago. So I graduated. <laughs> When I got home this afternoon and my wife said that some senator was making comments about Preble High, I came right over. I was upset. <laughs> we are now raising our grandson who lives with us, and I must say, from his freshman year on until now, he's a senior. Every teacher I've encountered, every secretary, every faculty member, wherever you go in this building, they're great. When you come into the front door, the security for us is just a wonderful bunch of guys. You go into the office, the secretaries. You call the attendance office, and you always get a happy response, even when you're saying your kid is not going to be in school. Preble, you're not a sewer. You never will be. wanting to see if there's anybody, any other parent that would like to come on up. If not at this time, I would like to thank our students, our parents, our staff for being here this afternoon to show your wonderful support. In your own words, you can say very easily what I would say as your principal. You speak of high academic programs. You speak about how you feel welcomed and loved in our building. You speak about how we embrace diversity. When our students can speak to that, then we know that our job has been well done. And our commitment to you as students and parents is to continue to give you the best education possible because we believe that regardless, and that is regardless of your race, of your ethnic background, of your income, that you all deserve the best education possible. And that is a commitment we make to you today, from here on, and forward. And with that, thank you very much for coming this afternoon.